Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, your doctor friend Siddharth, and today we're going to talk about the mechanism of diabetic ketoacidosis in type 1 diabetes mellitus. This is the enzyme called adenylyl cyclase present in the cytosol. The function of adenylyl cyclase is to convert ADP into cyclic AMP. The cyclic AMP will in turn stimulate the enzyme protein kinase. The job of protein kinase is to stimulate the enzyme lipoprotein lipase and the job of lipoprotein lipase is to convert triacylglycerol into free fatty acid. Since this enzyme is in cytosol, therefore in presence of this enzyme free fatty acid will increase in the cytosol. The function of the insulin is to inhibit adenylyl cyclase and this will in turn decrease the amount of free fatty acid in the cytosol. But in case of type 1 diabetes mellitus, insulin will be low and the amount of free fatty acid in the cytosol will increase. Here is the other enzyme called acetyl-CoA carboxylase. The function of acetyl-CoA carboxylase is to convert acetyl-CoA into melanyl-CoA. The melanyl-CoA will inhibit the enzyme carnitine palmitoyl transferase 1, also known as CPT1. The job of CPT1 is to translocate acyl-CoA from cytosol to mitochondria. The job of insulin was to stimulate the enzyme acyl-CoA carboxylase and this will increase the amount of melanyl-CoA and this will continue inhibiting the enzyme CPT1 and this will decrease the translocation of acyl-CoA formed in the cytosol into the mitochondria. But in case of type 1 diabetes mellitus, insulin will be low and this will ultimately increase the amount of acyl-CoA into the mitochondria. Now, since this acyl-CoA has entered into the mitochondria, inside the mitochondria beta-oxidation takes place and this will form the acetyl-CoA. This acetyl-CoA can either enter the ketogenesis and form ketone bodies or can enter in the T-cell cycle to form energy and release carbon dioxide. But since beta-oxidation is going on inside the mitochondria, this will use up NAD+. And since NAD plus has been used up, there won't be the sufficient NAD plus for the TCA cycle to run and hence acetyl-CoA will be diverted to form ketone bodies, acetoacetate, acetone and beta hydroxybutyrate. And this is why diabetic ketoacidosis occurs in type 1 diabetes mellitus due to absolute insulin deficiency. Mm -hmm.